Well, good morning and welcome to a more critical video. So today we're going to talk about three things that I don't really like about my Daikin heat pump. So before anybody starts and says, I told you so, you'd made a mistake, I'm being critical here because there are a few things I think could be done better. The first is this. Water sitting on the top of the unit. The design of the unit is such that there is a very small brim around here that catches the water. So when it rains, the water just sits on the top of the unit. There's no need for this as far as I'm aware. And at some point, it could just get inside the unit. So come on, Daikin, why not put a slight slope? Why not put a way for the water to drain off? It just seems like an overthought. Maybe they designed this in Southern California where it doesn't rain very much. But here in the UK, where we had a lot of rain this morning, this should not be sitting on top of the unit. Okay, for the next thing that I don't like about my heat pump, we have to go up to the airing cupboard. Now, I don't know why I'm still calling it the airing cupboard because there is nothing in it other than the tank now. There's no space really to air any washing or to keep towels or things like that. But that's not the thing I don't like about it. The thing I don't like about it is to be able to get any useful data out of the system, you need to use this. Now you would think with a modern system like this, you'd be able to get information about how much energy it's used, how much heat it's produced, otherwise known as your coefficient of performance, all from the app or a web interface. Well, the app, I'll put it up on the screen, has none of that information. It just shows you how much electricity you've consumed. And there is no web interface. There is no way to, that I can come up with other than using an API to download information. So if we want to find that out, what we have to do is go in here, go to information, go to energy data, and then we can look at electricity input and we get today. Now, as you can see, I can't even get the information exactly what those numbers are without having to go to each day individually. I'd love to be able to download this as a spreadsheet. But if we go into we keep scrolling through, we can see here we are. This is the whole year. Obviously, we're still in the first month of use. But if... There we go. 164 kilowatts has been used since installation. In fact, if we go there and we press that button, we'll get the same number at the top. So 164 kilowatt hours of electricity has been used. If we go back now to produced heat, do the same thing, scroll all across and we've produced 538 kilowatt hours of heat. Wonderful. So at this point, I have to ask why? Why is there no web interface? Why is the data not being shown up, shown in the app? If anyone has any information as to why Daikin decided not to do this, please do let me know. I'd love to know. If not, I'm gonna to have to break out the Python skills, and I'm gonna to have to come up with my own way of doing it. So my final thing that I don't like about my heat pump, and I really struggle to find three things, is that my towel radiators don't dry the towels as well as they used to with a gas boiler. So one of the things you'll have to get used to with a heat pump is that your radiators won't be quite as warm as they used to be. My radiators used to be so hot that I would almost burn my hands when I put them on there. The advantage of that for towel radiators is your towels would dry very, very quickly. But not anymore. These are warm to the touch. They take a lot longer to dry towels. So how do we solve this? To be honest, we're probably not going to bother. They're nice radiators. They do dry the towels. Yes, we could replace them with electric radiators that would heat up the towels. They'd run off the batteries. but. For the extra expense, just to dry a few towels a little bit faster, 
I'm probably not going to do that. So as you can see, we did find three things, but again, none of them are that major. I can live with the water on top of the heat pump. I can put up with the lack of data from the MMI and the towels will still dry themselves, even if just a little bit slower. With that, Yogi and I are going to go for a walk, so I'm going to sign off. I'll see you all here real soon for another video. Take care. Bye-bye.